Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're going to see how to create a one button macro that will allow you to toggle light sources on or off. And you'll be able to use this to do things like set up torches for your fantasy games, or flashlights for your paranormal investigator games, or pit boy lights if you're exploring the wasteland. Note that we are going to use mods in order to do this, so you will need a pro account to do what I'm about to show you. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. Now the first thing you're going to do is come into the mod screen for your game, go to the mod library, and make sure that you've got Token Mod installed. Token Mod comes to us from the arcane scriptomancer himself, the Aaron, and it's what's going to allow us to turn the lights on or off via a macro. Once you've got that installed, we can jump into our game. Okay, so I'm in my game here, and let's start out with setting up a toggleable torch. So, just to see what I've done so far, I've obviously already got my character on this map, and then on the map itself, I've already got dynamic lighting turned on. And then on my character token here, I have vision enabled. And if we wanted to emulate a torch, what we would do is turn on the emits bright light and low light settings for our token, and then we would set the bright light distance to be 20 feet and the low light distance to 20 feet, save those settings, and now our token is going to emit bright light out 20 feet and dim light out 20 feet. And if we control L here, we can see that that's kind of what we've got. We've got a pocket of bright light very close to our token and then dimmer light going out the further we go away. That light moves around with my character, so we can easily see what's going on. But what we want to do is have that happen automatically. We want to make a macro to turn those settings on rather than doing it by hand. So let's see how to do that. So I've got my trusty Notepad++ window here. Let's go ahead and put in the code. So we start out with a call to token mod. So token mod is going to set some properties. And the first property it's going to set is emits bright. That's what's telling the token to emit bright light. We are setting that on. And then we're also setting emits low light to on. So this is doing those two toggles that you saw earlier where I flip those two things on. And then we define the bright light distance is going to be 20 feet. And the low light distance is going to be 20 feet. And there we go. And those settings would make our token emit light like a torch. So this is great, but it only turns the light on, and we want a macro to turn it on or off, depending on whether or not our character is currently using a torch. So what we're going to do is let's copy this line here, and let's make a couple of tweaks to it. So for starters, I'm going to switch this set to flip, and I'm going to get rid of the ons here, and then I'm going to put the set command back right here. Okay, so what does this do? All right, well again, we're calling token mod, but what flip does is it looks at the current value for emit bright and emit low light, and if they're on, it flips them off. And if they're off, it flips them on. So you can think of flip as literally flipping a switch. And then we put the set command down here to set the bright distance to 20 and the low light distance to 20, because those values don't work with flip because they're not switches, they're numbers. So now let's take this line, we'll copy it, and let's scoot the notepad window out of the way. Let's open up our token settings here, and our settings are currently on. So our character is emitting light, they are carrying a torch. So I've got them highlighted, I'll paste in the code that we just ran, and it looks like things just got dimmer. Let's confirm that, we'll double click, open up our character's token again, and you can see that the bright light and low light settings have been turned off. If I keep them highlighted and I press up on the keyboard to run the code again, you can see things lit up. And just to confirm, we'll go into our token settings. And there we go. One quick thing to mention, every now and then, particularly when dragging out a brand new character who's never had this macro run for them before, sometimes what happens is it doesn't stick. Like, you'll highlight the token, you'll run the code, but nothing will appear to happen. If that happens, all you need to do is double-click on the token, and then, like, flip their vision on and off, and click Save Settings. And that will fix the problem, and you only need to do that 
once per token. So you don't need to do it every game or anything like that. Just do it one time and you should be good to go from there. Now to make this a macro, all we need to do is bring back our code. Let's copy the code like so. And then we'll go into the collections section of our game and we'll say add and we'll call this torch. Paste this in. Scroll down and we're going to make this visible to all players so that everyone can use it. And we'll also make it a token action. Save changes. And now when our players click on their tokens, there's a torch button here and they can click that to turn the torch on or off as they need. So let's jump genres from the Forgotten Realms to 1920s Arkham, Massachusetts. And so my bureau agent is exploring this island looking for a missing person, but he's not going to be carrying a torch. He's going to be using a flashlight. So let's take a look at the dynamic lighting settings here. We can come in here and we can do just like before. We can emit bright light and let's say we're going to emit it out maybe 15 feet and then low light for say another five feet. And then we're also gonna turn on directional light. See right now, bright light and low light, all the light is going to emanate equally out from the center of the token, like the torch. But we want to narrow that light so it's only coming out in a beam. And the way we're gonna do that is by turning on directional light and we're gonna set the total here to be how wide the beam is. So we'll say this is probably gonna be a 45 degree angle. Let's save the settings here. And now we can see that there is a little bit of light coming off of our bureau agent. And let me just control L to make this a little more obvious. And now my bureau agent can rotate their token by grabbing the little handle right here and they can see on the map. And then they can advance and they can find, oh, hey, there's a doorway and we advance a little further, what's inside this tool shed, let's go in, and then they see the youngling, and it's time for a sanity check. So, how do we actually make this happen with our macro? All right, so let's bring back our code, and the first thing we're gonna change are the distances for the bright and low light. So I'll make that 15 and five again, and of course you can change these to whatever values you think would be appropriate for a flashlight of that time period. Now what we need to do is add in the directional light stuff. And so for that, we're gonna add in the following to the end of the command here. So in the set section, I'm gonna put in the following. We have has directional bright light, and that's on, has directional dim light, which is also on, and then directional bright light total is 45. So these are the exact same settings that we had in the token settings. And just one thing to mention here, this is all on a single line. I have word wrap enabled right now, but if I turn that off real quick, you'll see that all of that command is on one single line. So make sure that you do that. Otherwise, this will not work. Okay, so I'm gonna put word wrap back on. And now we can copy this and we can go into our macros. We can create a new macro here that we're gonna call flashlight paste that code in just like before we're going to make it a token action and we're going to make it visible to all our players save the changes and now our bureau agent has a flashlight button up in their toolbar and if we click on it the light goes off if we click on it again the light comes on switching genres one more time staying in massachusetts but jumping ahead a couple hundred years to a post-apocalyptic wasteland so let's say that you're exploring an abandoned vault somewhere deep underground you need a flashlight for that and so you're going to turn on your pip boy now i'm still learning the fallout rpg and i haven't come across exactly how much light a pip boy emits so if somebody knows that put a note down in the comments but from playing in the video games i know that a pip boy emits bright light it's probably similar to what we had with the flashlight, 15 feet and 10 feet, but the angle that it emits light is much wider. You get a much bigger field of view with your Pip-Boy light. So let's go ahead, we'll put that at 115. And the other key difference is that a Pip-Boy's light is green. So we're gonna click on light color here, and I'm gonna select this neon green right here, and we'll save settings. And there we go. Now let's look through our token's eyes. And yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. So how do we make the field wider and give it that green tint using our macro? 
All right, so bringing back the code, we're gonna change our low light distance from five to 10, just cause I think a Pip-Boy with a fusion powered battery is gonna be able to put out more light than something that runs on Duracells. And then our directional bright light total, we're gonna change from 45 to 115. And the final tweak that we're gonna make here is to put in a parameter for the light color. And we'll add that right here. Again, this is all gonna be on one line. Even though it looks like it's three lines here, this is all on a single line. I'm gonna turn word wrap off again, just so you can see that. And there we go, we see that it is at the very end. This light color, this is the hexadecimal color for that green light that we had. So this is all on a single line now. I can copy this. I can put a macro in here. Let's go ahead, let's create one and we'll call it Pip-Boy, paste in our code. Again, a token action, again, visible to all players. Save the changes. And now, when Vault Boy here clicks this button, his Pip-Boy light turns on and off accordingly. So there you have it, a one-button macro to turn your light sources on or off. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Until next time, folks, have a great day.